This is an but, insanity. Uh, what is going on uh, uh, in Virginia? And but hang on a second. Got to fight back. What? But what actions? It's going to be actions that convince the deplorables their vote's going to count. So what actions are the RNC and Youngkin taking to make sure that if you come out, this is going to count? Because we want everybody to say, hey, your vote counts. You got to get out there. You got to vote. You got to show people that they're saying, oh, Trump doesn't bring the vote out. But how do people know their vote's going to be secured by actions that are being taken by Youngkin and the RNC? This is not the 2020 election where the Trump campaign got caught with his proverbial pants down with no money at the end and no lawyers and no plan. The Yunkin campaign, in conjunction with the Republican National Committee, has put together a on-the-ground voter integrity plan like nothing that has ever been done in any state in America. And Yunkin's got the resources to do that. I want to go to Dave Brad. i got Captain Seth Cashel, Steve Christensen from Utah. We're going to have Tony Shoup from Pennsylvania, the grassroots activist, about voter integrity. Uh, Virginia, how do you see it right now? You're pretty savvy. You won the seat from a come behind. Uh, you were a congressman. What do you think of the Commonwealth right now? Okay, um, we're going to keep Dave Brad around. I want to go now. Captain Seth Kesher has made a name for himself going around the country preaching the uh, gospel of 3 November in this uh, stolen election. Uh, Captain Kesher, first off, Texas. Last time you were on here, we looked like we were very close to a full forensic audit of the state. Understand certain aspects are being done. Can you walk us, just get us up to date on Texas? Talk to me about Arizona. Now, uh, Pima County, they're talking about Pima County having a, uh, having a uh, Pima County have it actually do a full forensic audit there, expand out the audit to the uh, entire state. Looks like uh, on a first cut, there's big problems out there. So what's the latest on Arizona? So just walk us through the mechanics. We're going to shift to Utah here in a second, but just walk me through the mechanics of Gavin Maricopa. What do you need to do in Pima to actually start an official process to decertify the electors? So, so tee up. We're going to bring our next guest in, uh, one of the members of the uh, House of Representatives out in Utah. W w why Utah? Utah, we won overwhelmingly. W what's the issue in Utah before we bring on our guest? Utah was a bit of a psyop in 2016. It's very important that MAGA know that your vote is going to count and people are moving heaven and earth to make sure that happens. So it's incumbent upon you to get out. Okay, get out. You've got to get out and you've got to put your shoulder to the wheel here. It's very important in the next couple of weeks, right? You've got to vote as early as possible is what people are saying.